Hi, guys welcome to the brand new video on Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. In this video, we just take a look for another updation part on HTTP reverse shell python script. If you remember the previous video uploaded on HTTP reverse shell topic. In that video, what we did just write the python script of HTTP reverse shell and simply run it on victim amp, server machine. And if you haven't watched yet then must watch that video first. Then move for this video. So basically the problem with that video is if the victim restarts his PC then the connection between server to the client is getting broke. So in order to make the connection automatically, even victim computer is restarted so for that. We just add that python script in his computer startup folder. There are other ways also available but this is one of the simplest way to understand and simple to demonstrate how basically the payload work. So first we have to add some few lines of code in the client.py python script which will lead it to run in the background even victim computer is getting a restart. Talking too much let's jump right into it. Alright, guys, this is it for the coding part. Now let me check it is properly working it or not. By just clicking on the Python script. And look for. It's shortcut file in the startup folder. Now here you can see it's shortcut file is appear on startup folder. So it's mean that it's work properly. Now more practically we have to check after the restart also. For that let's move into virtual machines. All right here you can see that client script is placed in Windows machine as a victim. And server script is in Kali machine which is act as an attacker. So first look for its startup folder and look after it's running a shortcut file appear or not. So first let me run the server file.
that's it here you can see. It's get connected to the server as well as it's also created a shortcut file in the startup folder. Now we have to check for it's working so let me try the windows command line by line by and look for it's working. That's it is also working perfectly. Now at the end, we have to check the connection between server and victim are remain or not when victim restart the computer. For that let me restart the Windows machine. Now it's restarting the windows. Between the restarting process. Let me run the server script so that it can wait for client connection. Now windows machine is started and wait for its connection. That's it here you can see that it's established the connection to the server. Now again let me check the working of its by entering Windows command. Yes it's worked perfectly. This is it guys hope you enjoy this video and like share and subscribe to this channel and see you guys in the next video till then bye.